Today I'm gonna show you how you can make these beautiful edible leaves which you can use for decorating of your desserts but even main courses and starters. So let's do it! This decoration you can make in different flavors, colors and shapes. So I'm gonna show you my favorite ones. For the basic recipe you need same amount of flour, sugar, egg whites and butter. So let's do it! First I mix egg whites and sugar and I mix it a little bit. You don't need to whip it, just make sure the sugar is melted inside egg whites. Then you can put plain flour and mix it well again. And the last thing is coming melted butter in. You can also season it with a little bit of salt and your basic mix will be ready. Now I'm gonna split it into three different containers so I can do three different kind of chips. The first part I'm gonna make it red with red food coloring. So I just put a little bit in and mix it properly. For the next part I use a squid ink. That's a very good combination for some fish main courses. And the last part I just leave how is it so you can see how will end up the basic mix. The next step is to push my mix inside the silicone molds and we're gonna bake them. Always make sure the top is nice and clean before it goes inside the oven so you end up with nice results. And you wanna bake it 180 degrees Celsius around 5 minutes. It can be a little bit different depending on the mold. Then you take them out and if you wanna do some kind of shape, you need to work really fast. So I'm using the roller here and I just gonna put it on the top when it's still soft and playable. And in a few seconds the chips get crispy. If you wanna just keep them flat, just take them out from the mold and leave them on the table to cool down. The next variation with the sepia ink, you do exactly the same. Just make sure you don't do too much mess with the sepia ink because it's difficult to clean it. And the next thing you can use for your shape is ladle. Just put it on the top and you get very nice shape. Or you can also use this handle and you get nice shape as well. So here you can see the difference. And the last part is my basic mix. So you do exactly the same and you end up with nice chips with golden color. The next option I want to show you is brown with cocoa. You already saw one black option with squid ink, but if you want to do dessert, it's best to use cacao. So let's do it. For this variation, is the recipe a little bit changed, so you can use the cocoa. I'm gonna leave full recipe in the description below, so you can check it out. But you again start with egg whites and sugar. Then it's coming cocoa with flour and end up with the butter.
and you put them again in some kind of molds you like and you bake them the same temperature and the same time. I recommend you to don't make it big amount in the same time because first of all it's very difficult to take it out when the chips is hard and you're not able to make any shape if you do them a lot. And the last variation I want to show you today is the green one. Of course, you can use the green food coloring, but I like to use my green oil. So I have here my dill oil, so let's use it. For this variation, you start with egg whites and sugar again. Mix it a little bit. Then it's coming plain flour. Mix it again. But for the last thing, you change butter and you use green oil. And like this, you can do beautiful green leaves without any food coloring. Looks nice on the plate, but even tastes delicious. And that's it guys. Now you know how to make these delicious edible leaves. So try them at home and have fun. If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you're still not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button down below. So you're never gonna miss any of my new video because on this channel, I'm gonna teach you every week how to cook like a pro at home. That's everything for today and I'll see you next time.